Hi everybody. Today my topic is trivial solution and non-trivial solution. Let's move ahead to see how to solve this trivial and non-trivial solution. Here I am taking two simultaneous equation. One is ax plus by equal to zero. Another is cx plus dy equal to zero. Here I have written x equal to zero and y equal to zero. Reason is if I put x equal to 0 on these two equations, right away I get the value of y as 0. So, we can say that this is the solution of these two equations and it is called trivial solution. Now, our target actually to find other than this solution and that is called non-trivial solution. Let's go to second slide. Here I have taken same two equation. We need to explore the relationship between A, B, C and D because if we get the relationship between these four then we can get the non-trivial solution. Now here I am assuming the second equation must be a multiple of first. How it is? Because A and C. Sometimes A value if it is 2, then sometimes also we see the C value is 4. So in that sense, we can think of these 2 and 4 having relation that these value is twice of this. Same way we can take C as the alpha multiple of A and D is the same multiple of B. So easily we can write C equal to alpha A and D equal to alpha B. Now, we will determine the determinant of A. Actually, with these four constant, A, C, D, D and B, these four, we can make a matrix. Like this one. I mean this side we are writing this. This is the form of like matrix. So from these four, this is the matrix. Now from this matrix, I will check the determinant of A. And we found AD minus BC. So A, D value already we assumed it previous slide alpha b c value we assumed alpha a now looking at this you can see both are same so automatically it becomes zero 
so once determinant of a determinant of matrix a is zero right away we can say that a is a singular matrix and it has non-trivial solution this most important points now for this matrix if we put the name as a this vector if we put at x this one as zero so easily we can write a x equal to zero according to this so in the next slide we'll see this equation how it works Here I am taking two equation x equal to minus 2y equal to 0, 3x minus 6y equal to 0. So in matrix form it comes like this. This is variable vectors and this one with this right hand side zero vectors. So what is happening here? Same as the previous slide we put the name a then x then 0 our equation same as the previous one ax equal to 0 now we need to check determinant and we checked it we found it is 0 so what we can write so a matrix is a singular matrix and non-trivial solution exists so what we'll do next we have to look at these two equations and we can see that the this equation is three times of this because see here three and six so three times of this first equation so we will work only on this so working on this we get y equal to half x so once we get this relationship between x and y then easily we can make a table with the value of x and y and what we will do we have to assume value of x suppose i have taken value of x equal to 1 using this equation i get half value 2 using this equation i get 1 this way i reach up to here even i can go more putting the value of x in turn i will get the value of y it means there are an infinite number of non-trivial solutions here i am taking three equations three equations so i'll go for the matrix taking all the constant i mean coefficient from the x y z and this is x vector this is matrix this is zero vectors so we can put the name as before a this one x this one as zero so easily we can write a x equal to zero now we have to find the determinant of a determinant of a is zero so as it is zero easily we can write a is a singular matrix and non-trivial solution exists now we have to write a matrix in terms of augmented matrix it is what all the coefficient of x y z as well as this zero vector to be inside one matrix it is augmented matrix now we have to apply elementary row operations elementary row operations 
here it is written very clearly it is r3 rho we will get if we multiply r2 by 4 then we subtract this from r3 then we will get r3 if we do this procedure we will get r2 so we are getting these two rows in a new form as this now if we add these two matrix will be in row echelon form what is that second row first point first element will be zero then following third row these two element will be zero so it is row echelon form now we have to calculate this one as this one because this first line comes from here second line comes from here now here we can see here y and z two variables so we can make relation in between y and z so we get this but what we will do we will assume z equal to t we want to make the equations i mean solution in a general term so z equal to t so 7y equal to minus 5t so y equal to minus 5 by 7t so we got the value of y in terms of t as well z is in terms of t so we need to find x also in terms of t and easily we can find putting these two value and here we can see here x equal to this very easy way we can get it then the solution will be this in terms of t this is the value of x this is y this is z in terms of t so whatever values of t we provide right way we get the value of x value of y and value of z So here this is the solution already we got in previous slide we brought it from there. Now here I made a table putting the value of t like here I considered 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2 right here I got the value of x, y, z, x, y, z, x, y, z, x, y, z. Even if I put more values of t it will be like this lot of values. So infinite number of solutions. But I am taking only one line like this one, second line. I want to put this x, y and z value in these three equation to see is it satisfying or not. Let's see. Zero. So that is okay second one zero so second equation satisfied third equation zero satisfied so as i explained there are an infinite number of non-trivial solution that's all for today thanks for watching
Thank you.